Are you looking for a calming, soothing, and relaxing paint color? It could be for your master bedroom, it could be for a bathroom, it could be even for your coastal home, just to name a few. You might want to try out Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments. It could be just the paint color that you're looking for in your home. Today I'm going to share with you the undertones of Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments and then I'm going to compare it with some similar paint colors to help give you a different perspective about this beautiful paint color and then towards the end of this video I'm going to share with you two trims that pair beautifully with Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments assuming you have the right fixed elements to pull it off. The first thing you need to know about quiet moments are the undertones. So watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Tissue Pink, which is considered a pink. Watch this. When you compare Tissue Pink with quiet moments, you can instantly see the blue gray and quiet moment. Now watch what happens when I compare with Benjamin Moore Weston Flax, which is considered a yellow. Watch this. When you compare Weston Flax with Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments, this is where you're going to see the blue green gray undertones in quiet moments. So Benjamin Moore quiet moments is a blue green and sometimes it has a little bit of a gray in it depending on the type of lighting that you have in your home. But for the most part, it's a blue green. Next, I'm going to compare it with some similar paint colors to help give you an idea of where it sits in the world of blue green paint colors. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Beach Glass, which is considered a blue green. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Beach Glass with Quiet Moments, you're going to notice instantly how Quiet Moments is lighter than Beach Glass, but you're also going to notice how Quiet Moments, it pulls more green than Beach Glass. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Palladium Blue, which is also considered a blue green. Watch this. When you compare Palladium Blue with Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments, you're going to notice how Palladium Blue, it pulls more on the blue green side. And notice how Quiet Moments, it pulls more on the green blue side. So two different paint colors. And you're also going to notice how Palladium Blue is clean in comparison to Quiet Moments, which is muted. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Silver Marlin, which is also considered a blue green. Watch this. You're going to instantly notice how Silver Marlin is darker than Quiet Moments. And Quiet Moments is just a little bit lighter than Silver Marlin. But to be honest, both of these paint colors are really similar. And one of the biggest key differences is this. Silver Marlin is muted. And notice how Quiet Moments is clean. As you can see, Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments can be dark. It can be light. It can be clean. It can be muted. And this is why you always hear me say, please get a paint sample. Compare it with the paint colors or colors that you have in your home. And compare it with your fixed elements, your interior decor. And don't forget about lighting. I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. For those of you that want to save time and you want to get it right the first time, and it doesn't matter which paint colors you select, you know that all of them are going to work because they're going to pair correctly with your fixed elements and your interior decor. And they're going to work with the type of lighting that you have in your home. Highly recommend you go to my website. I've helped thousands of people every year select the perfect interior or exterior paint colors for their home and please read the reviews see what clients have to say i have over 500 reviews i would love to help you next i'm going to show you two trim paint colors that pair beautifully with benjamin moore quiet moments when it comes to trim paint colors it's often one of the most overlooked aspects on an area of your home where you can add color not too much not too little, not too dark, not too light, just right. Or you can just play it safe and you can do just a true white like Benjamin Moore Chantelay Lace or Sharon Williams High Reflective White, that's fine. But for those of you that have a warm fixed elements, then I highly recommend you go outside your comfort zone. There's a big difference on being average and then going to a space that goes, wow, that's amazing. I feel the warmth. It feels cool. It feels soothing. One of these paint colors that I've used many times is called Benjamin Moore Swiss Coffee. It's a grayish. And when you put it on your trims, it's going to look like a light cream that's not overly yellow. It's got just a touch of gray that's muting 
that yellow and Swiss coffee. Or you could do something a little bit more sophisticated. Another one is called Benjamin Moore Soft Chamois. Soft Chamois, it too is a grayish. The difference is, is this. It's going to add just a little bit more color to it. It's going to look like a cream. You're going to see just a touch of a green and just a touch of a gray. It can instantly change the ambiance in that space. So, for those of you that found this video helpful, please put a like. Let me know. I want to hear from you and I would love for you to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn everything about paint colors and if you're looking for the perfect paint color for your home and you want to get it right the first time, please feel free. Go to my website. I would love to help you. Until then, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.